I would say that if possible, don't try to do it alone. I think that you know you tend to get isolated. We tend to study alone. We tend to feel, you know, I had one chemistry teacher told me I should quit school and get married. I mean, and that did it for me. And how stupid, you know, that was really stupid. I mean, it, well, it wasn't stupid. I loved all the trips I took and all the, that trail, but it took me about 10 years to get back to where I would have been if he hadn't told me that. You know, a couple of words, and we're like, no, we're gone. You know, hold your feet down on the ground a little bit longer than I did, I think, and try to find some friends. You're going to have to work hard. I mean, there's no two ways about it, but it has to be because the only way that you can manage to do the hard work is because it's something that you really love to do. Um, I, I, you can't get, especially nowadays, things are changing so much, but you, you know, um, it's where the rubber hits the road, you know, it's really got to, you have to be able to, to do the work and, and be good. And, and I think sometimes um, that some of us are really overachievers and we really try to do well in a lot more categories than, say, non-minorities because as minorities, we're always going to be questioned. The only way to get credibility is to be good. And especially as a minority, unfortunately, right now we're noticed a lot. And, and you know, if you're trying to push people in terms of diversity or trying to push people to do things that are unusual, the only way in academia that you have leverage is um, by publishing and getting grants and being really being good. And so that's, uh, you know, that's the challenge.